I'm going to buy a domain name. So I bought the domain name. I'm going to put together a landing page and then I'm going to throw it up on Hacker News. And so I put together a landing page, kind of like what I wanted the API to look like, you know, it's just like a terminal. This is what the JSON response would look like. And, you know, immediately I was on the front page of Hacker News. I ran Keygen on the side for a long time, five or six years, and I just didn't quit. And so, you know, over and over again, I didn't quit. I didn't quit when I wanted to quit. I didn't quit when I wanted to sell the business. I didn't like, I just continually not give up. If I showed you my growth chart for Keygen, it just looks like a really, really linear loss. That's slow it. and steady. There's no like, yeah, it's just slow and steady. Like every year, it just keeps growing every year. Keygen is the way it is now because I've just not given up. My initial goal was, you know, $1,000 a month, and then it was $10,000. And then after 10000 I hit the $1 million in revenue thing. Slow, slow and steady growth. Don't give up. And so Keygen was, for the first seven years, it was closed source. And so, like you said, that bus factor of one was a killer uh, for selling to enterprises. Uh, it always came up. You know, they're always like, how can we be sure that Keygen's going to exist in two years? And I'm like, well, first off, Keygen is seven years old. It's bootstrapped, profitable. You know, like a, a funded company is way more likely to go under than Keygen because I'm profitable. But, you know, that, that's not the best answer. And so a lot of the time, so they want source code escrow. So pretty much I use escrow, uh, like an escrow service to charge them a buttload of money to have access to the Keygen source code if I died or if the Keygen LLC went under. And I'm like, man, this is really, it's a really annoying setup. Uh, you know, I, I don't like doing it. And I'm like, I, I want to fix the problem. So I was like, you know, I'm going into escrow agreements with some people and I've even, I had even shared GitHub repository access with some customers and uh, enterprise customers. And I'm like, okay, if I'm doing this for them, why don't I just let everyone see the source code, come up with an idea, validate it. If it doesn't, if you don't get a customer within 30 days, kill it. Okay. Well, in reality, if I would have obeyed that, I would have killed Keygen. Cause like I said, I didn't get a sale for a year. So you have to, you can't just take what the influencers say and obey it. Like, that's not how reality works. I sucked as a founder. Like I sucked as, as a marketer. I, I didn't know what I was doing. And so like to blame that on my idea was crazy. Like, because I knew I had a good idea. It, like I needed it. And so I'm like, I couldn't have been the only one. And, you know, eventually it worked out. Like eventually I learned enough that I wasn't getting in my own way. And mm -hmm. I wasn't getting in the way of the growth of my business. But that took a long time. And most people give up by the time that, that time would come for them. And I, I wish people wouldn't give up as often. If you like this video and want to see a demo of KidGen, you can check out the full live stream with Zeke. Link in the description below. And if you want to hear the stories of more successful open source founders, tune into our channel, follow, and hopefully we'll see you in the next live stream. Bye.